Hey everyone, back with more Kenshin. Gonna do Arlecchino Story Quest today. So, I'ma unlock it. Actually, I'll unlock it first and go clean the keys. Yeah. Alright, clean. Now, let's see. Ooh, refreshing Fonta again. Sweet. It's ready. That's a bit of a pain if he has to get to. Oh, okay. I might actually get two achievements today for Fontaine. That would be really nice. Okay, let's get on with Bailey's first. I love Zalashino. Okay, never mind it. I'm going to go into the EXP blossoms after this as well. Solidified! Shower me with bread! Access denied! That's amazing. Here. Interesting. I'm going to get a flower. Born of ice and frost. That tingle picked the wrong pet subject. <laughs> I got Kara. Oh, she gave me some treats. Let's go talk to King and Rui. Actually, no way. Uh, I'll do blossoms first. on the map.
at the end of this hole with anyone. Oh shit, did I forget to do domains yesterday? I was supposed to do shambling. Damn it! Wait, Tuesday is oh Tuesday's the day. I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, let me try to put some raw there. This guy one more time. Ah, shoot. Wrong button. Okay. I will right button. Order. Right button. Hold the top. No. Yes, monkeys. That's still not teams, damn it. Ooh, 
tree lights. That's stop get these, I guess. Don't you fancy Eyes wide open. Look back here to the world where we have lived. Your eyes wide open. Ah. In your eyes, you can't smile. Come on, give me that achievement. Looks like I'll have to adjust my research direction. Well, not that it's the biggest problem anymore. Any new Fonta flavors available? Hello there, unfortunately. No, I fear. You did help me retrieve a lot of documents previously, but I must confess that I might not have been in my right mind when writing them. A lot of the data and design concepts in here corroborate each other, but there are also some contradictions. I will need a bit more time to uh, decipher these documents and try to understand what my thought process was back then. Of course, the collection process isn't going to stop, so could you help continue helping with that? The search areas will be the same as before. Leave it to me. Splendid. With your aid, I'm yet more certain we shall succeed. First, let me investigate the destination you're heading to this time. Based on the results of my calculation, some of the documents should have landed in this area. I'll mark this location 3 on your map. Some of my colleagues mentioned that they picked up some paper up, uh, picked some paper up nearby, and it also appeared to be office paper commonly used in the Fontaine Research Institute. Let's go try our luck, I mean, assess the situation there. So, your real feelings have come out, huh? Might as well try our luck then. Yes, yes, come, here's two bottles of water to raise your spirits a bit. Okay, I have mighty combat, I don't know. All I know is that I'm getting an achievement on this one. Oh wait, I'm not getting, it'll be the next follow-up quest or something. Okay, where am I going? Oh, that's a fair assistance away from everything. Little thing goes by. It began as I was one. Alright, so I'm only going to get one achievement today. Oh well, you see better than nothing. There's a tunnel storm outside. Take off your covers, you huddle and hide. Close your eyes, open your eyes. It's oh come on, I'll try. Evil. It's the truth. I love. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth I love. Stop in the middle of fear and shame. Everybody's looking for someone to play. Like it's a game. Like it's a game. Solidify. I am better than you all. Looking, I changed my combat team. It's called the truth. It's called the truth. Picked the wrong pet subject. Next on the agenda. I could the material speed. Hmm, maybe the under those crates. Let's go take a look. This should be what he's looking for. Let's take it back to him. Location number three, materials. Mm. 
I can't believe that these documents are so complex and need the damage by water or monsters. You are my lucky star. What state were the previous documents you retrieved in? Uh, let's just say that I'd rather that they were destroyed. <laughs> well, uh, it's very good that we've retrieved these materials in any case. Give me a moment to study your contents. Henry looks through the materials. This, this design manuscript states that I once considered changing the base ingredient of water to tea leaves. And then I released a series of drinks based on different flavors of tea before promoting them in the Luya market. Tea flavored Fonta? And you want it in different flavors? Paimon can't imagine what those would taste like. Likely bitter. It even says here that condensed tea extract syrup and milk can be added to adjust the flavor. That sounds interesting, but Paimon doesn't think this drink has anything to do with Fonta. Exactly, and that's why this promo is crap because it has nothing to do with our main product. However, I've decided to reinstate this plan. After all, de developing a delicious tea flavor drink might be interesting in its own right. However, you did help me retrieve my materials, so I'd like to hear what you have to say on the matter. Do you think that I should take the suggestions in this draft on board and try changing the basic idea of water to tea leaf? I'd like to try some carbonated tea, sure. It actually tastes pretty good, if done correctly. If done correctly. Understood. I'll take your word on that first. Still, what sort of tea leaf should we use? I guess I should find someone well versed in this field and ask them. Alright, let's go look for the degree and get that achievement. Oh, I forgot to switch the friendship team, damn it. Oh, okay, where did Axe go? Didn't he ask us to come back more often last time? All his stuff here too. Oh boy, does he really put his food and supplies together? Besides of him anywhere around here, let's have to let's go take a look around. <sighs> These footprints, and there are a bunch of bushes on the ground rushing on the ground. We drop them up maybe he's up ahead. Oh damn, the dialogue is going so fast I can't even read it mentally. Same for as before, just what is he doing? Is he with those crabs up ahead? <sighs> up ahead, that place over just over there, come on! I don't know, if I remove the lights and shadow here, what will that do to the layering on the painting? The power to exp of expression in those colors is insufficient, and the contrast is not great either. Ah, just a few elements removed. The whole thing's a mess now. What are you up to? Ah, it's you. It's good to see you again. I apologize for the misunderstanding. I was merely thinking about the issues with this picture, and I couldn't help but pace about. You might not be able to understand, but I simply cannot sit still when reflecting on problems. The longer I sit in place considering problems, the more frustrated I get. That's why I'm used to thinking as I pace. I allow my legs to carry me anywhere they go as I think, as long as they don't keep place. So, this happens often. Sorry for making you worried. So, did you reach a conclusion then? And what of the question you're considering? No progress, I fear. I just don't know where to begin. If I remove the lighting effects, the image lacks layers, but if I reduce contour and shading, the objects within the picture cannot sustain the structure. The removal of just any few elements will send the whole edifice crashing down, devolving it into a heap of trash. I'm just talking to myself by the way, so don't worry too much. I'm just thinking about how to solve this problem. I must go back and look for my easel first. Aesthetic critique. Damn it, and I still didn't change the friendship team. Uh, well, hopefully I get the last one thing daily tomorrow.
It's freedom that's swarming up in me. Nobody knows to tell me where you wanna go. Stop it in all the times and I Thank you for completing run ways of running and run. Possible common truth is taking over you. Oh, this is the crash. Things light up and won't come down. Stop us now. Watching me fall through the stick and over you. This is the crash. I'm a cook and a crafter, right? Alright. I will go to spot. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's try to get stronger than you want to do. Possible come true, I can pay you out. This is the greatest show. Light up, won't come down. Sending stuff, but step. Watching it come true, sticking over you. This is the greatest show. Never do you ever want. Oh, wait, do I need to cross stuff as well? Let's create total 10 furnishings. This okay, trust rank first. This is rank 1. Alright, that's the last of the indoor sets. Seeing the possibles come true, walls can't stop us now. Okay, cooking first. Um, let's do that one extra ingredient. Well, our recipe I forgot to master, I think. Just double check real quick. Oh, there is. Booty to it. Sometimes the latter trait is far more useful. 
your life savior trapped in my idea that will show you what some you really need some else can pick up the shell you wanna get me kidding say you pick down but I get play this god let me check what's my crafting like. We might have to suck the player in one more. Okay, and I'm sorry to find the other. Well, I would like to spend your day skipping the street parts. I will wrap up with you. I'll be the talk of the town. It's crazy, and it's only another one of the clowns. But you will finally live a little by that I'm starting to shake it. Yes, I feel the symptoms were taking. Something went up to me. Okay, ah, uh, resident now. Please choose this or Shang Ling Gong Ling. What the center shop show that I've taken? Fair enough, what a piece of all the action. I said, come to the shake and make it happen. I wasn't born this morning. Eighteen would be just fine. I don't go ahead. Last one I was on time. I do eight, twelve, maybe nine, ten. Don't you wanna hide away? Oh, you wanna try to play? Can't watch me. Let me take a ride. See the other side. I guess I do like I do. I can do like this. In the wings, I don't know how to take the key. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, I free to fly to the other side. If you do like I can play with the others, if you do like I can do the other side, if you do like I can do the other side, go to the other side. So, it would be amazing if I get super good enough for the people, but yeah, that might be.
Uh, let's craft some books. Okay, what a show. Still. Solidify. 
is it installed yet? Yes, it is. How did she die? Such new challenges he has achieved at all. Has gotten the other one before. What's that trying to do? Something specific I was thinking about doing after I finished the boss, other than early quest. Oh, I can't remember. Let's just get let's just do early quest now then. What's the Focus experience more. Pretty sure I'll be fine because I don't have any conflict of quest. Oh, I'm going to pass on. Alright, Ian. Oh, I forgot to check out the new achievement. Oh, there's a new challenge to see this bullshit. Not voiced. Hey, Lumi. I'm on. Oh, I didn't know yes, that voice. You. The hell was that? Over here. Lenny, it's been too long. To borrow one of the more popular turns of phrase at the moment, this appears to be quite the fated reunion. Running into you two out of the blue like this has really made my day. I certainly wasn't expecting it. You can say that again. What brings you to pass on? Wait, Paimon's got it! You must be here for one of your magic shows, right? Um... Actually, we've run into a bit of trouble on the home front, so Father arranged for us to stay in Poisson for the time being. Oh, are Lynette and Fremenet here too? 
Yep, along with most of the other members of the House of the Heart. You may have noticed Poisson seems a bit more crowded than usual. So you're saying nearly the entire organization has moved to Poisson? Sounds like you run into way more than just a bit of trouble. What's really going on? Um, well, since the two of you are so curious, oh, shit, I'm perhaps I can fill in the gaps. <gasps> you scared Paimon half to death! Father, you're here. Um, you know, <laughs> on second thought, maybe we don't need to know. It's all probably super confidential House of the Heart stuff, right? We totally weren't trying to pry or anything. No need to be nervous. I could sense your genuine concern from your conversation just now. Of course, I can also understand your confusion. Sending so many Fatui here to Poisson, it's only natural that some might suspect an ulterior motive to be involved. Well, we are a little curious. At least you have more reservations about your organization. I understand. I'm well aware you've had your fair share of confrontations with the Fatui in the past, and I can't exactly guarantee that we'll remain on good terms in the future. As for right now, however, I would say we have little reason to be at odds, wouldn't you agree? The House of the Hearth could stand to be more open with those who have worked so closely with us in the past. As for the issue at hand, well, it hardly relates to any ulterior motive. To be frank, it all stems from a certain rumor circulating around the House of the Hearth. It's an internal matter. What sort of rumor? A rumor that a certain phantom child is hiding away in the House of the Hearth. I'm so ghost story, maybe? A phantom child? Who just hearing the name is giving Paimon on the creeps? A spirit that should have long ceased to exist is lurking in the shadows of the House of the Hearth. So I decided to bring the children to Poisson before continuing to investigate the situation. I expect I should be able to track down the spirit fairly quickly. After that, it's just a matter of resolving the situation, if you will. It shouldn't be much trouble at all. If you're curious, or if you still have some concerns, it might be advisable to stick around for a few days. I'm sure the children would be exceedingly pleased to welcome <coughs> some visitors. Lenny, I'll leave you to entertain our guests. I have some matters to attend to. Of course, Father. I couldn't help but feel a bit more between the conversation with the maid. Now that she's gone, it feels like I can finally breathe again. She also suggested that we stick around for a few days, but why? Hmm, it has long been a dream of mine to invite you to our home and introduce you to my other siblings. You're quite well known in the organization already. A lot of people have been talking about you, especially after everything with the prophecy. If you're willing, why don't you stay a while and have a little chat with us? Mm. All right. We don't have anything else to do right now anyway. But let's be clear. We're just going to be there as guests, okay? Don't get any funny. Oh, wait a second. For your guests, that probably means we'll be treated to lots of yummy food, right? Of course. During our stay in Poisson, we've been helping out the locals with some fishing. We bring in quite the bounty every day. In fact, today is the perfect chance for me to show you what I can do in the kitchen. Let's go. I'll take you to where we're staying. House guess. Okay. My thoughts all sparkle. Oh, it's just the atmosphere. That's all set up very nice. We rented this house from one of the locals to use as a temporary base. I'll come back later and tidy up a bit. 
After that, it should be all ready for you to stay in tonight. Awesome, thanks! So, where are we off to now? Well, when I happened to run into you two earlier, I was actually in the middle of distributing some supplies. With this many people staying in Poisson, we have to bring in outside supplies every now and then. I should probably make sure the rest of these provisions get delivered, otherwise people might start to get antsy. Okay, we'll come with! There are all sorts of rumors about your organization floating around out there. Paimon's not sure if she could even take a wild guess as to what's true and what's not. But now that we finally have the chance to see a day in the life of the house, we can take a good look at how you operate! Well, you're more than welcome to come along. Just follow me. It's ramp. I'll probably pick up my early stream with a couple of mods because, yeah, just based on time and stream, stream uh, version content. here the supplies i'm assuming you've brought them with me yep here you go uh hello something caught your eye it's the traveler in paimon no way come here everyone hurry the traveler and paimon are here One at a time, please. Don't crowd around them all at once. We don't want to scare off our guests now, do we? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> Gotta say, Paimon didn't realize we were this famous. <laughs> of course. Father and Linny have told us so much about you. Father told us about how you helped Linny. According to her, you're a trustworthy friend. And as far as she's concerned, that's pretty much the highest compliment we've ever heard her give. As you can imagine, everyone's been very curious about you. I heard the Traveler is so strong that she can move a mountain with her bare hands. I heard Paimon eats so much that she can clean out the entire pantry at Hotel Sephora in just three <laughs> days. Wait a second! That's the rumor you heard about Paimon? Oh, not cool at all! Mine's also a bit of a stretch. Oh, wait! When guests visit, you're supposed to give them gifts and stuff, right? Oh, we don't need something like that. Besides, we don't have anything to give to you. Come on, do we insist? I can give you some of my new potions. Just pick your poison. And by that, I mean medicine or actual poison. I've got both. Okay. Huh? Or maybe Shaflo can teach you guys about stealth. He's super good at it. He's never been caught. Oh, now that's not a bad idea. I know you usually prefer to fight head-on, but it never hurts to expand your bag of tricks, right? When it comes to eliminating your enemies, staying quiet can go a long way. Trust me, I would know. I was poisoned not too long ago, and I'm still dealing with the after effects. So I'm not quite as good as I was before, but I can still give you some pointers. Um, wait, uh, when you said gifts, I didn't think you meant poison and stealth tactics. But those are the best things we can give you. You don't like them? Ooh, how about this? Tell me the name of someone who really annoys you. These kids are scary. Them a lesson for you. These kids are scary. Dangerous suggestions to look at All right, old Selwar. I think that's enough suggestions for now. When it comes to being a good host, it's the thought that counts. You don't need a physical gift to make our guests happy. In fact, pestering them with suggestion after suggestion might make them more annoyed than anything. I would say your enthusiasm has certainly gotten across. Really? Absolutely. Definitely feel love. Awesome! It's been so long since we've had guests to play with. If there's anything you need, just let us know. Yeah, especially if it's poison or something. I've got all for that. Yeah, it, it's <clears throat> well, that. we'll talk to you all later. We've still got supplies to distribute. 
All right, see you later. <laughs> Scared you, did it? That kind of talk comes with being part of the House of the Hearth. When Foltz was really young, he strangled all of his family pets. Just what the curiosity. Hell? He was labeled a dangerous problem child and was abandoned by his family. Elwar has an unnatural obsession with potions. Father has forbidden her from trying all the different concoctions she comes up with, but she still tries to test them in secret. You really have to keep an eye on that one. Chaplot is around my age. While I'm mainly responsible for collecting intelligence, he handles surveillance. He's very passionate about his work and has no reservations about taking on some very difficult missions. I know you two probably aren't used to that kind of talk, but I can promise you they only had the best of intentions. Things like stealth tactics and developing different poisons, they really mean a lot to them. They were just trying to share the best of what they could offer, that's all. Next on the agenda. Billy Ol, supplies are here. Thanks. And who are these two? <gasps> Outsiders? Ah, huh, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, you're the famous duo I've been hearing so much about. It's nice to meet you. I heard you've traveled to all sorts of places. Is that true? Of course! We're making our way all across to that! Oh, good for you. You must be pretty familiar with Fontaine by now, then. Have you seen the new opera that started running recently? I think it's called... The 4,000 Thieves? Oh, this is the first we've heard of it. It seems like it's going to be fantastic. Uh, from what I've been able to tell from the posters, anyway. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you have the time. Oh, and there's The Blind Maiden, too. That one is supposed to have audience interaction. Seems pretty interesting. After this mission is over, I think I'll go get a manicure. Oh, uh, maybe I should dye my hair. Hmm. Wonder how much it'll cost. Um, is it just Paimon, or do these two seem much easier to get along with than the others? Looks like the House of the Hearth has some normal members after all. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Oh! Uh. Oops. <laughs> I'm guessing you're referring to Foltz and the others? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not all like them. I bet those crazies are practically foaming at the mouth right now. <sighs> I'm sure they just can't wait to get back to Snezhnaya to carry out the plan. That's enough, Bilial. Ah, <sighs> don't talk about family members behind their back, right? <sighs> Whatever, let's go. Um... I guess this is goodbye then. If you ever have some time, we should go see the opera together. Damn, very cool. Plus. <sighs> well, that's it for the supplies. We should probably head back as well. Well, they didn't seem too happy with each other. Seems like there could be something more going on here. We should observe for now. It's better not to try. You're right. We're only here as guests after all. Oh, uh, Linny's getting super far ahead. Come on, let's catch up. Alright, so before I continue, um, I actually have to run off and do something real quick. I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Could the children be up to? Hm, never mind. Let them do as they please. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. What could the children be up to? Hm, never mind. Let them do as they please. Something you wish to report? Go on. You have my undivided attention.
What could the children be up to? Hmm, never mind. Let them do as they please. Something you wish to report? Go on. You have my undivided attention. What could the children be up to? Hmm, never mind. Let them do as they please.
Something you wish to report? Go on. You have my undivided attention. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see.
It's a met so far. It's a thing about a lot of personality. <laughs> well, father is always encouraging us to be strong-willed and independent. So if there's one thing we've got, it's people who aren't afraid to speak their mind. Well, I should probably get cooking. Want to join? Of course! Then let's head out. Uh-huh. Fremine, what are you doing here? Ah. Uh. Well, um... Fremine! Nice to see you again! Oh, uh... You too. I heard you're here as guests of House of the Hearth. Welcome. We were just going to make some food. Why don't you come along? I could use some help in the kitchen, and I seem to remember you mentioning you wanted to make seafood soup for the Traveler in Paimon. Mm, seafood soup? Oh, Paimon is drooling already. <laughs> Were you looking for something just now, Fremine? Maybe I can help. Uh, it's nothing. <clears throat> I just wanted to see if there were any extra supplies. Yeah, we've got some left over. What do you need? Some food and water. And some clean cloth, if possible. No problem. Give me a second here. Food, water... Wait a minute. What do you need all of those for? You're not on any missions as far as I'm aware, and you were just going to come eat with us. So what's this all about? I... Uh, I thought I'd grab an extra portion because I get hungry at night. Could be because I'm growing, you know? <laughs> And, uh... Fremine, do you remember what I told you? You're not like me. Your lying skills still need some work. Tell me what's going on. Is it really bad enough that you have to keep it from your own brother? Uh, maybe it would be better if we gave them some space. Uh... This is the first time I've seen that kind of look on your face. Whatever happened, does it have something to do with father? <sighs> yes. Just uh, follow me. Father's here. Hello, 
My name's Lin. I grew up in the House of the Hearth. And you are? Hi, Linny. I'm also a child of the House of the Heart. Just like you. You can call me Clairvy. Clairvy? It's nice to meet you. Isn't that the name of, um... Does Arlie's friend that name ring any animation? bells, Linny? No. Not at all. That's not a name we have on our roster. I'm sure of it. What I'm not sure of, though... Is how she managed to sneak in. She must be the phantom child father's been searching for. From the looks of it, I'm guessing you were the one that found her, Fremine. You, uh, haven't told father, have you? No, I haven't told anyone. I've just been keeping her hidden. For how long? About half a month now. What the hell? So ever since we got to Poisson, then, do you have any idea what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Really? Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. You know the rules of the house, Fremenet. I know you do. Father doesn't tolerate any form of betrayal. So why are you doing this? I've thought it through. And I just can't hand her over like that. Linny, don't you remember last year? Shaplow nearly died after getting poisoned during that one mission. He wasn't able to get back before the poison started taking effect. And not a single person was there to help him. That night, while I was sleeping, I heard a voice telling me to go save him. I opened my eyes, but I couldn't find the source of the voice. I thought maybe I was just hearing things, but I went to look for him anyway. Luckily, I got there with enough time to save his life. That feeling of being haunted, of hearing voices. It's happened many times in the House of the Hearth. I'm sure you've noticed. So what you're saying is, that was her? She was the one who spoke to you that night? Unless there are other spirits roaming around the House of the Hearth, I don't think there's any other possibility. If Claire V were our enemy, it wouldn't matter whether she was a spirit or an actual child. I would have acted without a second thought, because that's what Father ordered us to do. But she's been living with us, helping us from the shadows all this time. I think that makes her family. I couldn't just hand her over to be dealt with. Not when there's so much we still don't know. So what's your plan then? You can't keep her here forever. Someone is bound to find out eventually. I haven't thought that far yet. I don't want to disobey an order from father. But I also don't want to put Claire V in danger. Come with me. There are a couple things I'd like to say to you in private. Two sure care a lot about each other. <laughs> well, they got a funny way of showing it. From where Paimon was floating, it sure seemed like they were about to bite each other's heads off. No way. They have a really deep bond. I could tell right away, because I also have a friend like that. I just don't know how long that kind of bond can last. What do you mean? The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. I'm sorry, Linny. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. Oh, really? You didn't mean to? Because I, for one, wish you did. Huh? What do you mean? You know, when we were younger, you didn't call me Linny. You called me brother, just like Lynette. We grew up together, the three of us. We were all orphans, all rescued by father. Of all the siblings in the House of the Hearth, I think our bond was the closest. Later on, when you started calling me Linny, I wasn't actually surprised. After all, Lynette and I are related by blood. 
We've had to depend on each other to survive long before we joined the house. Really, I... The darkest and most difficult moments of my life happened before you and I had ever met. I'm sure that's true for you as well. Even so, Fremenay, we've stood by each other for all these years now, and to me, that means more than blood. You and Lynette are the most important people in my life. No one can replace you. So I won't let you face anything alone. Not if I can help it. Oh, looks like things are getting kind of heated between Linny and Fremine. Maybe we should go check on them. Oh, it's raining. I should put my clothes away. Indoors. Interrupting anything like a fight or it's oh, no real wait a minute, Remine, you're not crying, are you? Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Thanks for asking. Well, we're all friends here, right? We've been through so much together, so if there's anything we can do to help, just say the word. It's just a small family dispute. It's not something our guests should trouble themselves with. In fact, it might be better if your stay ended here. Something is having guests around young and Uh, what are you getting at, Traveler? When guests are around, families are often on their best behavior. And any disputes are less likely to escalate. That's what you're trying to say. Isn't it? Exactly. I can feel better if you stick around. I... just... Thank you. I was really hoping to keep you out of it. But even if I could think of some other reason to turn you away, I'm not sure I could convince you. I know things could turn dangerous, so I promise you this. From now on, I'll protect you like my life depends on it. Me too. Well, back to the matter at hand then. If we don't plan on handing Clarby over to Father, then our only other option is to solve the mystery of her identity before Father is able to track her down. That means finding out where she came from and what she's doing here. Then we can send her on her merry way and pretend like none of this ever happened. I've tried that already. And? And... nothing. I tried taking her somewhere really far away, but... After some time, she just reappeared. She even came with us all the way to Poisson. It seems like wherever the house is, she follows. Hmm, I don't know much about spirits. Do you two have any ideas? I... let's see here. Oh, uh, Paimon remembers hearing something like, if you fulfill a spirit's last wish before they die, they'll let go of whatever's keeping them here and return to the ley lines. Oh, it's just that Paimon doesn't really remember where she heard that, so... so it's not guaranteed to work or anything. Well, sounds like it's worth a shot. Guess that means we should go ask her about her wish. But first... Fremenay. I need you to promise me something. What is it? I need you to promise me that this will stay between the two of us. We're the masterminds behind this whole thing. No one else gets involved. Can you do that for me? Of course. I promise. All right. Then let's seal the promise just like when we were kids. Fist bump on three. Ready? One, two, three. Where did Lynette come from? <laughs> that sound effect was hilarious. Uh. Whoa! Lynette! You scared me. But what a surprise! <clears throat> what brings you here, dear sister? <laughs> Her face. <laughs> 
And, uh, when exactly did you get here? You're an idiot, brother. <laughs> um... And you too, Femine. Uh... You three, Traveler. And you four, Palamon. <laughs> Wait, what did we do? I've seen Clairvy around the House of the Hearth before. I hadn't seen her in Poisson, so I figured she must not have come with us. But it turns out, you were just hiding her. I heard you talking about your plan. Rather than steering clear of the situation, I'd rather fully join in. If you don't agree, I'll have no choice but to report everything back to Father. Simple as that. <sighs> You're not giving us much wiggle room here, Lynette. Well, I guess we're all in this together, then. After we talk to Claire V, we'll figure out our next move. There's no time to lose. Let's go. Ah, I'm full. Thank you for bringing me this food, you guys. Um, she said she's full, but the food doesn't look like it's even been touched. It's a spirit. She can't actually eat. <sighs> That's right. Based on what I've been able to observe, it doesn't seem like Claire V can interact with the physical world at all. Still, when she's presented with food, she'll always linger around it for a good little while. Maybe, in her mind, she really is eating those things. Does she know that she has already passed away? I've tried to ask her, but she didn't answer. My guess is that she's just as confused as we are. Or, maybe she couldn't understand the question at all. Clairvy, if you've got some time, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Oh, another new friend. Hi, I'm Clairvy. Hello. Clairvy, how did you join the House of the Hearth? Huh? Isn't it the same for everybody? The knave brings you here, and then you can't leave. It's just that... your name... it's not on the roster. And I've never seen you before. The roster? Oh, I get it now. I think there might be some things you don't know about this place. The people in charge... they're not as nice as they look. They say they keep a roster, but it's not complete. There are a lot of people who aren't on it, and never will be. In this house, some people are family, and other people are just test subjects. Those kinds of people aren't ever going to get a place on the roster. Unless it's the roster of people who've been executed. Wait, does, does that mean the knave... She... Is there anyone that can vouch for you? Hmm... Perry. She's my best friend. She's the only one I trust in this place. Have either of you heard of that name before? No. Me neither. Claire V. Perry. Neither of those names are on the roster. But it seems like she's telling the truth. Either that, or this kid's already got a bag of tricks bigger than mine. Hmm. Maybe we should try a different approach. Claire V, do you have a wish? A wish? It can be anything you want. Just imagine. It's your birthday, you're blowing out the candles, and your wish is... To go outside. 
where the sun can find me. That's it? Well, that sounds easy enough. The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. Okay, time to divide and conquer. Listen up, I've got a plan. I'll try and find a way to use basic illusory magic to take Clairvy outside and bring her somewhere with sunlight. Lynette, try and find the list of executions that Clairvy was talking about and see if her name is on it. Fremenin, you stay in Poisson. We can't be the only ones who've had run-ins with Clairvy. I need you to collect intel on everything she's said and done. Understood. I'll try my best. What about us? What should we do? I really appreciate your willingness to help, but this is a family matter. I don't want to drag you in too deep, and it's too risky. Let me think. Since Father considers you to be guests, Maybe you could stick by her side for a little while. You don't need to do anything except keep up some nice, casual conversation. Ah, Paimon gets it. You want us to be distracted. Hmm. How should we conquer? I'll give you a magic bird. If Father suspects something, all you need to do is release it when she's not looking, and it'll alert me that something's wrong. Of course, that's only as a last resort. If Father doesn't seem to notice us, there's no need to make contact. We'll reconvene here tonight after all said and done. If the worst case scenario happens and we're discovered, just tell Father everything. We're not going to let our guests get punished for our own actions. That's where we draw the line. Careful. You too. Okay, this is where we part. Father should be at the beach nearby. I really hope this goes well. No, it has to go well. That's the only way this can get resolved. Chow doesn't exist. Claire V, I'd like to take you somewhere. Is that okay with you? <laughs> sure. Where are we going? Looks like what I mean. Well, the name is right here. Y'all fucked up already. What? Oh. Okay. Child, the fuck how did you escape the abyss? God damn it, child. It's the name and child. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in Snezhnaya recuperating? What are you still doing in Fontaine? Oh, it's you two. I didn't expect to run into you here. <laughs> oh, he has been adopted. So I was unconscious for quite a while the after the fight in the Primordial Sea. After I woke up, I realized I was being taken back to Snezhnaya. And well, I couldn't have that now, could I? Not when I've still got unfinished business here in Fontaine. Screw. So, I mustered up all my strength and made the journey back on my own. What sort of unfinished business are we talking here? It has to do with Skirk, my master. 
I really wanted to meet up with her, but by the time I got back, she had already left. I still have so many questions for her. Without any other leads, all I could do was ask the knave to help me track her down. She must have left behind some traces from her time in Fontaine. Oh, okay. So, have you found any clues? Unfortunately, no. While the House of the Hearth is adept at collecting all manner of intelligence, certain existences can still manage to escape our purview. Basically, unless Master feels there's a need to meet with me, she's not going to be found. But that problem has an easy fix. I just need to become stronger, and then... <coughs> uh, Paimon thinks you should focus on getting better first. <laughs> the worst of it is over. It's all thanks to that one kid from the House of the Hearth. Elwar, I think her name was. She gave me a bunch of random potions to drink. They didn't go down easy, let me tell you. Pain and chills all over. But they really did help speed up my recovery. And that's good, because it looks like I really do have to head back this time. Or the old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I heard Regrater's involved, too. I'm not looking forward to having to listen to all his monologuing, that's for sure. Hey, maybe you could think of a way for me to stay in Fontaine for a little longer. Helping Linny and the others brush up on their fighting skills would be far more interesting. If you and I could spar, that would be even better. I've been waiting for a chance to see you go all out. And what a sweet little daydream that is. But I also have a role to play in all this. I'll be leaving Fontaine shortly as well. Besides, considering how little they see fit to step outside the homeland, being called on to return to Snezhnaya by such illustrious dignitaries. What a great honor. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> One I could do without, I'd say. Uh, is it just Paimon? Or does it kind of seem like they're... Just casually trash talking the acquaintance behind your back. So, dear guests of the House of the Hearth, to what do I owe the visit? Um... Well, we just, um... Try to become more popular. Right! We're super close to Linny and the others, but we still don't know much about you! Is that so? Introductions have already been made, have they not? Oh, uh, well, you see? There's only so much you can learn about someone from a short introduction. At least tell us something a little extra, like... Why do you call yourself father? Huh, good question. I'd also like to know. The fact that you have to ask tells me our intelligence work has been quite successful. Telling you the answer to that question would only serve to undermine that success. And we can't have that, now can we? Spoken like a true diplomat. That was some expert sidestepping right there. Well, if there's nothing else, I think I'll take my leave. I still have a small matter to resolve at home. Uh, uh wait, do go! Damn, I'm a pretty thing to start sleeping with me. Which right now, she's working on her very very least of it. You must know what you're trying to talk about something else first. About the House of the Heart, what does the organization mean to you? <laughs> I'd also like to hear the answer to this. I've met some of the members of your organization, and they all seemed like really good kids. They actually reminded me of Tonya and Tusser. Which, by the way, if you ever betray them, I'm just letting you know, I won't let you off easy. And why would I betray them? Well, you've already betrayed the House of the Hearth once, haven't you? At least, that's what I heard. Hmm. Okay, okay, I admit. That's just what the old man told me. The rooster, I mean. The knave betrayed the house of the heart. Does that mean my very said is true? Does the knave feel the truth of truth that it has such as? Well, wait. Did you really do something bad to those kids? 
Never mind what I've done. I'm more curious as to what the mighty rooster had to say. Care to enlighten me? Ah, well, nothing much. Just some stuff about you taking out many other members of the House of the Hearth, and even going so far to attack your own family. Hmm. I see. Oh, based on your reaction, I'm guessing it's all a bunch of lies. Hardly. I don't appreciate his particular turns of phrase, but I suppose he didn't say anything untrue. Although, it would be more accurate to say that there is a certain level of prejudice involved, but I don't intend to clear that up just yet. Prejudice has a funny way of concealing the real truth behind certain things, an attribute that I find to be quite advantageous. Call yourself a Fontanian, for example, and people will assume all sorts of things, when the real truth is that this is simply the land where I was raised. Huh? You're not actually from Fontaine? But then, why did you try to help out with the prophecy and everything? I was trying to protect the children born in Fontaine. Claiming that I myself was a Fontanian simply made it easier to operate. People would hardly suspect a fellow Fontanian of having any ulterior motives. Who wouldn't want to save their homeland after all? The Primordial Sea wouldn't have any effect on me. But it would have caused great harm to the House of the Hearth. Well, you wanted extra information, didn't you? There you go. I hope that satisfied your curiosity. I don't much plan on being pronounced upon the betrayed me. She probably only revealed that other secret in order to change the subject. It seems like she's trying to avoid talking about her past. So, you stayed in Fontaine for the kids? I guess I was wrong to believe you'd betray them. Apologies. Looks like I was holding on to some prejudices myself. Good. Like I said, I like it when others have misconceptions of me. Right. Actually, while I was recuperating at the House of the Hearth, there was something else that really caught my attention. I heard that members always resolve disputes and arguments with a friendly spar, and the loser has to back down. Seems pretty cool if you ask me. Would also give them plenty of opportunities to hone their skills. Well, that's only a recent development. In the past, such spars weren't nearly so... friendly. The losing party would lose everything. Including their life. They were that high stakes? Whew, at least that's not a thing anymore. Well, the current atmosphere's not half bad. I'm a bit jealous, actually. You've got so many family members around you, and you even get to live with them. Having a lot of family around means dealing with a considerable amount of bickering and scheming. Once Tonya and Tusser enter their rebellious phase, I'm sure you'll understand. Just imagine, Tusser becomes obsessed with plucking out strands from the rooster's mustache, while Tonya decides to dye her hair 42 different colors. <laughs> okay, okay. Shit. I get the picture. As the conversation shifts to people of new interest, a child loses her sway with them. And it's time was really important, so it sounds like you were trying to get that right. Uh, well, would you look at the time? I should probably get going. Traveler, Paimon, not sure where our paths will cross next, but the next time we run into each other, we should definitely try and find some time to spar. <laughs> um, again, maybe this is a conversation we can have when you look less like you're gonna kill over it. All right, all right. Well, thanks for everything, Arlecchino. That's how you pronounce it, Arlecchino. No thanks necessary. You also played a part in obtaining the Gnosis. I would say we can call ourselves even. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Well, I'm off. See you all some other time. Um, we should probably get going too. Do you want to head back with me? Oh, you want me to leave so soon? Oh, uh, well, well, you see, um... I'm rather enjoying the evening breeze. If you don't mind, I think I'll stick around for a bit. I have some things to think about. Apologies for not attending to you like a proper host. Please forgive this slight. I do hope you'll have a pleasant stay. 
Jordan has to keep her distracted until nightfall. Good thing Child was there to keep the conversation going. You don't think she suspected anything, do you? Oh, I wonder if Liddy ran into any issues. Let's hurry back and see how everything went. Oh, you decided to stay a little longer. <sighs> Let's take in the ocean view together, then. Staring at what is a staring at specifically. Well, long story short, we ran into a small issue. Clarevy can't go into the sunlight. What do you mean? Everything was fine at first. She followed me up to the surface just like I told her. But as I let her out of the shadows and into the sunlight, she vanished. I turned around, and there she was, standing at the edge of the shadows, silently watching me. Huh. Maybe she's afraid of sunlight, or... No, it wouldn't be her wish if that were the case. Hmm. Well, we could always try pushing her into it. pushing works on a non-corporeal being. Oh, true. I've pretty much tried it all already. Nothing worked. Eventually, the sun went down, so all I could do was bring her back here. <sighs> How did it go with you, Lynette? Good. I've got the list. It's right here. Really? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take a look! Oh, oh that's a lot of pages. Oh, it's gonna take forever to get through it all. We can each take a section. Here. La Pouillade, Landois, Jambert, Horaire. Oh, yikes. That Horaire guy has a huge scar on his face. He's kind of giving Pine on the creeps. Ah, I've met him before. The scar is from an injury he received during a mission. <laughs> I still remember him joking with me about it. He said any future lover would take one look at him and then lose all interest. Did he say anything else? Well, I asked if there was someone he was interested in. He said no, and that's where our conversation ended. It was only later that I learned he really did have someone he liked. He risked everything to escape so he could be with her, but... it didn't work. 
One day, father asked to see him, and, well, I never saw him again after that. Wait, so that means the knave, she... It may seem cruel, but it's just one of the rules of the house. Betrayal is not to be taken lightly. We know too many secrets to come and go as we please. So, if you do try to leave, I'm okay with your life. So I'm actually the son of the living Nathan. I would know his name so. Her name's not here, huh? Well, that's not too surprising. It doesn't seem like this list is complete. It only contains records dating back around five years. Let's shift our attention then. Fremenin, were you able to find anything out? <sighs> Fremenin. Uh, uh, sorry. I was thinking about something. I managed to talk to quite a few people, but I couldn't help but notice that the atmosphere in the house was a little... Strange. Strange? Yeah, I mean, I know there have been arguments in the past, times when people haven't gotten along. Chaplo and Filiol are a good example of that. Oh, those are two of the people that we met while delivering supplies. Kind of can see how they might not get along. They had very different vibes, and their, um, interests seem to be pretty different as well. That's to be expected, actually. Father brought us all here, shared her knowledge with us, taught us how to fight. That's one thing we all share. But that's also where the similarities end. Not all of us feel the same desire to stay here. As members of the House of the Hearth, we're also considered part of the Fatui. And to a lot of people, that's an identity they never asked for. Certain members get older and realize they want something else for themselves. But considering the rules of the house, most people would never say that out loud. People like Chaplo and Foltz are loyal to Father and her vision. They're proud to be part of the Fatui. Filial and Nantoy, on the other hand, well, they aren't quite as enthusiastic. These kinds of conflicts have always been there. It's not like Father is in the dark about any of this. Well, that's true. But it just feels like things have gotten worse lately. Filial and the others... It seemed like they were meeting in secret to talk about something. I can't say for sure, but I think they've met Claire V. You think she's been inciting them to act out? No, not exactly. But I wouldn't be surprised if she said something to them about the darkness in the house and how deep it runs. She's told me about it before. Experiments being run on children. People being used as pawns on the battlefield without so much as the strength to survive. And they just believed all that? Without any evidence? Claire V's words probably gave them the excuse they were looking for. Whether they actually believe them to be true is secondary. This is all because of Project Stuja, isn't it? Whoa, 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 hold on a second. What's this Project Stuja all about, huh? This is the second time it's come up now. Sorry, but I'm not sure of the details either. I only know what Father has told us, which is that it's something the Rooster and Regrader have been working on together. Apparently, it has to do with the Fatui's strategic plan for the future. Because the House of the Hearth was so successful in obtaining the Gnosis, we now have the honor of playing a key role in Project Stuja. Wait, but isn't that a good thing? Key role is just another way of saying dangerous role. To us, the whole thing is an inconvenience. Father thinks so too, but she's in no position to refuse. Their plan isn't exactly unreasonable. They've been funneling the house a lot of funding. It's just that we'll lose a lot of members in the process. Participating in the plan, it's an honor in name only. What they're really trying to do is subdue us. 
The existence of an intelligence organization outside their control makes them feel uneasy. Given how little Lenny and Gladys seem to know about it, I probably won't be able to learn much. I should keep a sharp eye out for the future Nintendo Fatui and see what I can learn. Okay, super complicated top secret Fatui business aside, what does all of this have to do with the conflicts you were talking about earlier? Paimon doesn't get the connection. External pressure has a way of exacerbating internal stress. We can't overlook the power of fear, either. People are afraid of dying. And that fear is often the impetus for a lot of stupid decisions. I thought resolving the Clairvy situation would make everything go back to normal. But it looks like things are more complicated than I thought. If we leave Filiol and the others to their own devices, sooner or later, Father will be forced to take action. We can only focus on one situation at a time, brother. You're right. Even if we confront Filial and the others, it won't do any good. It might even make matters worse. We should focus on Clairvy for now. Well, it's getting late. We should head back and get some rest. We'll try again first thing tomorrow. Lynette, you stick with me this time. Fremenet, keep a close eye on Filial and the others. Make sure they don't do anything they'll regret. Good work today, everyone. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. So, with that, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna end my stream here for today. Um, I'll continue with the night with this tomorrow, and hopefully, I'll make the progress a little bit further in. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye.